In this tutorial, you will learn and understand how to do an SEO competitive analysis. And maintindihan mo rin kung ano yung kahalagaan niya before you dive deep down into the SEO implementations. And also, papakita ko sa'yo yung mga iba't ibang magagandang tools na pwede mong gamitin to help you with your SEO competitor analysis. What's up everybody? Carlos Obado here and I'm a digital marketing expert who has worked with various digital marketing agencies before doing SEO, Facebook ads, Google ads, and website creation and optimization. And now I want to share with you all the things that I have learned about digital marketing. And so, if you are into that kind of thing, consider subscribing. What is competitor analysis and why is it important? So when you are trying to do SEO, trying to outrank your competitors, it's always a good measure to do a competitor analysis. Dahil without doing this, you won't have a game plan. Think about it this way, no? I'm gonna make basketball as an example because uh, the Philippines is a basketball-loving country. Uh, yung mga teams na yan, before they play each other, lalo sa mga high levels like PBA, no? May mga scouting yan. Hindi yung basta, tara, labanan natin sila. Wala kayong game plan. Uh, may mga scouts yan, na yung tendencies ng team, na yung tendencies ng players and as individuals. Ano ba sila? Shooter ba to? Kahit sa ligang labas sa lang eh, ganun yung, ganun yan eh. So, after yung game nyo, misan mag-stay pa kayo dun sa court para panoorin yung kalaban nyo na <laughs> sa uh, next week o next uh, following days. Tingnan mo kung ano ba siya, triple threat ba siya, slasher ba siya, yung mga tendencies niya. So, all of this, para magkaroon ka ng game plan para uh, to compete, to win. And ganoon din sa SEO. Kasi let's face it, ang SEO, mahirap siya gawin. Lalo sa mga very competitive na terms, ang verticals, no? ang hirap mag-rank ng website. Lalo na kung wala kang game plan. So, paggawa ng uh, competitor analysis, nalalaman mo kung ano yung keywords na pwede mong i-target. Nalalaman mo na mas mabilis at mas maayos mas definite kung ano yung content na pwede mo pang i-create and uh, malalaman mo rin kung ano yung mga backlinks and referring domains na dapat mong tapatan or even better lampasan to be able to outrank and beat your competition so let's start with the keyword research uh, pagka yung competition mo hindi naman ganun ka competitive no? you can get away with uh, Google Keyword Planner. And even dun sa content creation mo, you can get away by doing a simple Google search. Type mo lang yung keyword na gusto mong i-target. And makikita mo yung top competitors mo dun. You can check out their content. And makikita mo yung... You, you will have a good baseline. You can take note of their content, uh, word count, topics, topical uh, SEO. And from then on, makakapag-formulate ka. You can add those... Uh, uh, observations sa isang spreadsheet so you can get away with it without paying for any tools uh, but you cannot determine kung ano yung backlinks count hindi yung makikita yan kasi uh, for you to be able to do that and all the things that I've mentioned the keyword research and uh, uh, content creation to be able to do that better kailangan mo ng SEO tools lalo kung very competitive yung niche so, andyan sila Moz, meron silang pinoprovide na tool, I've used Moz, uh, SEMrush, Majestic SEO. Pero ang favorite tool ko is si Ahrefs. I'd say there are certain features na ino-offer ng ibang, ibang platforms na mas lamang kay Ahrefs. Pero si Ahrefs, halos lahat kasi ng, ng features niya talagang the best eh. And uh, even yung claim nila na yung Keyword Explorer is even better than uh, Google's own Keyword Planner tool. So, si uh, Team Solo, yung head ng kanilang marketing, he, he claimed that. Uh, I was uh, in Chiang Mai SEO conference a few years back. And yun yung inexplain niya. No? So, by using tools like this, makikita mo yung definite count ng backlinks, pati referring to means. Makikita mo yung mga topics na sinusulat nila. At makikita mo rin yung keywords na tinatarget mo. Or rather, tinatarget na ang competition mo. So, let me show you what I mean. So, let's say uh, you are trying to compete with Rappler. No? SEO-wise. So, all you have to do is get this domain, copy that, and 
lagay mo dun sa sa hrefs and hrefs will pull out this metrics for you so ayan yung overview no ito yung rank ni href sa kanya ito yung url rating niya ito yung domain rating niya you have uh, the number of backlinks here and yung number ng referring domains yung organic search ni Rappler pati yung organic traffic and estimated traffic value so to give you a brief explanation no, about sa mga data na to so itong si href ranks may sarili siyang crawler no? so he's a ranking websites against each other so we're talking about billions of uh, websites and yung rank niya dito kay Rappler nasa 11,000 among all those uh, websites andyan sila ibang tools si Alexa before uh, similar web uh, yung isa, Spyfu they have uh, a similar metric some sort of similar, similar metric to this one itong UR naman yung rating siya nung uh, domain yung mismong root domain so yung domain rating naman yan yung rating nung actual na uh, uh, permalink actual URL so let's say you have a product page or inner pages let's say ito lang site explorer with this uh, permalink so yun yung domain rating so lahat ng mga rating na to naka compare yan against dun sa mga websites na meron sila na na crawl nila sa kanilang database we're talking about millions if not billions of, uh, of websites so itong backlinks naman yan yung number nung links from websites no? number of backlinks pointing to Rappler so mapapasin nyo itong referring domain bakit magkaiba sila ng count ito yung pinanggagalingan kasi na website no? so meron silang 2.3 million backlinks coming from almost 40,000 na websites yun yung ibig sabihin nun so, uh, like may mga placements kasi ng backlinks na let's say nasa footer o yung sa common pages kaya dumadami yung count ng backlinks no? kahit galing lang siya sa isang website so itong organic keywords yan yung mga keywords na pag kinahanap ng tao they are appearing makakuha sila ng uh, traffic papasin nyo ito yun yung traffic na nakakuha nila this is their estimated traffic value hindi naman siya accurate talaga no in, in my experience no pero it can give you an idea a data to begin with to have a like a ballpark estimate at least so if we scroll down makikita rin natin yung number ng mga do follow links uh, yung uh, types ng referring domains na naka nakalink dito kay Rappler so merong uh, government ito yung mga <laughs> mga websites no educational .com, .net yung total number nung uh, do follow links and no follow links uh, sponsored so andyan yung mga brief summary ok so let's go ahead and click backlinks and dito makikita natin yung details nung backlinks no? yan yung backlink profile ni Rappler and from here you can filter out the date you can filter out the link type kung do follow ba o no follow o sponsored so, ang, ang do follow link, siya lang yung ibig sabihin, uh, yung website kung saan nakakakuha ka ng backlink ina-allow niya na mag-flow yung link juice dun sa website na nakalink sa kanya no? so, pag uh, no follow siya, ibig sabihin, hindi niya ina-allow yung crawlers na mag-pass on o mag-flow yung link juice o link equity dun sa mga links so, pareha silang valuable Pero mas valuable yung do follow links. Kasi, yun nga, merong link, link equity na naipapasa. If we go to uh, the referring domains, makikita mo naman yung actual sites. Yan yung mga websites kung saan nakakuha ng backlink si, si Raptor. And may note din dyan yung status kung nawala na ba yung link. Kung live ba yung link, yan nakalagay siya dyan. Kung bago ba yung link. And uh, for further analysis, pwede mong i-export siya no, sa CSV o sa Google Sheet. So, kung uh, bala kong mag-compete sa, sa certain vertical sa SEO, 
by knowing this data, magkakaroon ka ng baseline kung ano yung dapat mo nakunin ng mga links eh. At kung ilan, pati yung domain authority na kailangan mong maabot. Diba? If we go back to the overview, andyan yung domain uh, authority. Uh, hindi <laughs> pala domain authority. I think kay Moz na metrics yun. Oh. Yung uh, domain rating, pati yung URL rating na kailangan mong at least tapatan for you to be able to compete with Rappler. And uh, using Ahrefs, makikita mo rin yung mga anchor text na ginamit nila. If you go to anchors, and if you go to the organic keywords, yan yung stats. So, yan yung stats ng uh, organic keywords ni Rappler. So, andyan, nakikita mo yung volume, keyword difficulty. So, metric lang to kung gaano kahirap to compete with uh, uh, those keywords. Cost per click. If you want to run paid, paid traffic, so in traffic, volume, in position, kung ano yung URL. So, ang daming details na pwede mong magamit into useful information. Pati yung top pages ni Rappler, pwede mong makita. Kung baga sa basketball, para sa scouting report, nakikita mo yung mga strengths and uh, uh, possible weaknesses ng kalaban mo. And dahil dyan, mas madali ka makakagawa ng game plan mo. So, sa backlink profile na lang, no? so, dahil meron ka ng good baseline kung ano yung backlinks niya, ano yung uh, URL rating ni Rappler, you can have a better action plan when it comes to your backlink uh, strategy, outreach plan uh, na pwede mong implement para sa website mo to be able to compete with Rappler. Kasi yun yung actual numbers. So, so yung uh, direct correlation na lang no? when it comes to uh, backlinks and content creation. No? If you go to top pages, so dito, makikita natin yung top pages ni, ni Rappler. Okay, andan yung position, andan yung traffic na nakukuha niya, yung page URL, so, yung uh, value. So, dito pwede rin natin i-filter yung location. So, Pwede mong i-filter to all countries. O kaya, hanapin natin yung Philippines. And then, let's see how it goes. Ayan, nakikita nyo yung traffic. Mas marami sa Philippines, no? Yung value ng traffic. Yung uh, referring domain. Yung URL na, na nakalagay dito. So, dito, makikita mo rin yung mga uh, content ni Raptor na nakakuha ng maraming uh, maraming traffic kahit konti lang yung backlinks so like, ito na lang no? they have uh, 15,000 traffic pero walang referring domain so this can be you know, this can be uh, looked at as an opportunity if you are competing against Raptor no? now if we go to top subfolders so dito makikita mo yung percentage ng traffic no? depending dun sa sa subdomain o no? subfolder ni Raptor, again this time, let's filter it to all countries. So, from here, we can see na majority ng traffic, they land on Rappler's homepage. And then, next one, 33% do sa Rappler Nation. So, by doing this, you will have a better idea on what topics or content to write about. So, if we go back to top pages, may kita natin dyan yung uh, quality ng links. At kung saan siya nakalink. Let's see this one. So number two. If we click on this one, we would see yung backlink profile niya no, from these uh, referring domains. And this can be filtered uh, as do follow, uh, no follow, redirect, and etc. And uh, another one of my favorite na ginagamit dito kay HF is yung content, content gap. So if we go there, so this tool right here will help you find your uh, uh, or find keywords or content to target. Uh, kung saan yung competitors mo, they are ranking within the uh, top 100 pages ni Google. So if you don't have an idea kung ano yung competitors mo, you can use uh, uh, these uh, competing domains para makita natin yung competitors ni Rapper, and then we can add them here uh, and then use a uh, content gap analysis. So, another tool na magandang gamitin dito kay Ahrefs is itong uh, Content Explorer. So, all you have to do is go here and then input the keyword that you're trying to rank for. 
and then you can uh, uh, have it uh, filtered do sa mga topics na meron silang na wala silang backlinks pero they are ranking and they are getting uh, relevant traffic so you can filter down the traffic to let's say 1000 2000 uh, it's your preference really so easy win situation yun no if they don't have backlinks all you have to do is compete with the content of those websites and uh, easily get the traffic of your competitors so I will not go in depth dito sa mga <laughs> mga features ni Ahrefs no because I believe na each one of them they deserve uh, their own videos their own tutorials no pero as you can see no napapadali yung buhay mo no when you are doing competitor analysis nalaman mo kung ano yung mga keywords mga topics na magandang i-target uh, yung mga content na magandang i-create uh, using this tool also by the way makikita mo, 5 billion pages yung na-index itong si Content Explorer. No? So, ganyan saka powerful. So, it will help you and actually, it will give you fresh ideas on what topic, what keywords to target and yung backlink profile. Makikita mo sa kanya. Unparalleled yung kanilang uh, backlinks analysis. In my opinion. Because uh, I've used uh, almost all of them. No? Like I said, si Moz, si Majestic SEO, SEMrush, and wala talaga, Ahrefs talaga yung the best so paano if you don't have uh, the budget uh, for Ahrefs uh, and you can only use uh, free tools kumbaga, then you can uh, go for Google Keyword Planner hindi siya ganun ka-accurate pero it will help you can install this uh, Chrome extension na ginagamit ko Itong si uh, Keyword Surfer It's for free O hindi lang ganun ka-granular yung uh, keyword results I think wala pa yung Philippines sa kanya Pero you have a baseline If you are like targeting other countries Like let's say US So you can install this on your Google Chrome browser As an extension And then you, you can use that for keyword research Regarding the content You'll have to do it manually So you are After uh, identifying your target keywords So you can type, type them here and then, uh, at least, lagay mo yung top 5 yung sa isang spreadsheet. And then, you can analyze their content. Pero, when it comes to backlink analysis, uh, you, you really need a tool like Ahrefs. If you find this video helpful, please smash that like button. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment them below. And for more content about digital marketing, just like this one, consider subscribing.